Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add logic to your workflows. So first I'm gonna show you how it looks from that end user or that taker view. So if I click run, the really nice thing about our system is that you can input logic. So you'll see this question about what is the marital status. If I click single, nothing happens. If I click married, however, questions about a spouse are able to appear based on how I answered this question. So if I go back to my dashboard and click edit and go into that builder view, we can build out some logic together. You're also able to put this logic on pages, on documents, as well as questions. So if I go into add question and we create a new question together, we'll say, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Add our variable name. Put in our choices. Now we want someone to explain what other means. We'll add one more question. And we'll say, please explain other. Put in our variable name. Now you'll notice that there are three icons on the left-hand side of each question. We have edit, logic, and settings. We're going to go ahead and click this logic button, and we're going to follow the dropdowns. So there's two actions that you can take. You can either show this question if, or you can hide this question if. For this example, I want to show if. We're going to find that variable for the question, which I can scroll for, or I can search. So I'm gonna show this question if ice cream flavor chosen is other. And now this is going to pop up the exact same way we saw with that marriage question. We can also do this logic for whole pages. So you'll see here that on the top right-hand corner of your each page, other than that first page, that there's going to be a little logic. And it's gonna be the same kind of workflow. So I'm going to edit the page logic. I want to show this if my variable children yes, no is yes. And then we'll be able to see this page only if they answer yes, they do have children.